Hello and welcome back to FM Nation. This is Jamie speaking again and we are back for the second episode of the Palmer Resurrection. Uh, in the first episode we just went through the kind of the idea of this series. Um so we we're gonna come back for the start of the Serie C season, but I didn't know that Serie C Cup was gonna be a uh, Cherry C Cup was going to be before the, the league, so we're going to play those two games and we'll quickly just go through the transfers that I've made before we do this. Before we go ahead with that, because uh, I've made a couple of good signings, I haven't sold anyone. These transfers are already uh, these transfers from here, so upwards. Other guys that have already been brought in, and these are, these have all already been sold. Because remember, we're starting in the second season, 2016-2017 season. So, Andrea Bandini, a good right back, with a bit of potential, a slight potential, 20, 22 year old. I've signed Alessandro Vinci. In fact, I did sign him. I signed Alexandro Vinci. Um, so we've got two good right backs now. I signed Roberto Insigne, who is probably the marquee signing so far. He gone from Napoli, and it's uh, Lorenzo Insigne. It's his, it's his brother. So hopefully <laughs> he can reach the heights that his brother is. He's got a little bit of potential as well. You know, it's pretty good. Um. Good left back, left mid kind of player, Rodrigo Alborno. He can play anywhere up the left side. Cosimo Chiricho, Chiricho, winger or inside forward if he's playing on the right. And Ricardo Cal Calcani, I think his name is, the central midfielder, defensive kind of minded. So he's, they, they guys have put a bit of, a bit of depth in the squad. A bit of quality back into the team that we're going to be looking for. Uh, so we'll go ahead with uh, our Serie C, the Serie C Cup fixtures. We've drawn Lucchese and Vice Pesaro. Uh, first game is at home against Lucchese. So, or Lucchese. <coughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select my squad. As you can see, it's a, a three-team group, and Lucchese have won the first game, so we really need to, really need to beat Lucchese here, and at the very worst get a draw. If they win, then we're out. So we need, we can't afford to lose this. Uh, and they're playing defensive midfielders, two defensive midfielders, not flat back four. So we're gonna have to try and break them down, but they're gonna have to try and break them down. But they are gonna be. Dangerous on the counter because I've still got four guys kind of forward. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the squad, pick the pick the tactics, pick the squad, and then I'll skip. I'll, I'll edit that out, and we'll just get straight to the game. I'll pick my squad. Tactics. We're going to go with a 4 4 2. We're at home, so I want to play two up front. Uh, and um, I picked the squad. So I want to go ahead and just play this match. Some players are a little lacking a bit of match sharpness. Uh, I'm confident we can, we can get a result here. So, I'm just going to try and encourage them a little bit, tell them I've got a bit of faith in them. Hopefully, they take that to heart and take it out of the pitch. Yeah, so let's get them hash started then. Parma, this is Lucchese. FM Nation's first match, the first competitive match in charge. So 
which were 10 minutes in now and nothing's happened yet so it's a it's only like a typical Italian affair where <laughs> teams aren't doing too much in, in the way of attacking um, or maybe I'd like to change that hopefully maybe we'll tweak our tactics over the next few games and things like that and try and find the winning formula Bozzy Bond nearly, nearly put us to the sword there. Cataldo in the corner, he crosses it in. And it's gone clear, but Benvenga played inside to Nolly. Um, we've done well to contain them there. We really need to be getting a win for this game, so it could look as if we're struggling with possession. I think I might be pull Insignia back one and then an attacking Matilda and kind of go with possession play change the formation just still so slightly change the approach a wee bit hopefully we can get to half time so I don't like changing things too early I like to give them a chance to sort of try and Get our teeth into the game. It's a pretty boring first half there. Um, I'm going to give them a bit of a kick up the backside, but a kick up the arse. Hopefully they react to it. We'll get these tactics sorted and then We'll get the second half started. <sighs> Alright, so we've made a couple of changes at half time tactically. Um, hopefully, that can set us up here to come out and win this. Win it in this, win it in this second half. I just brought Roberto Insignia back out, just back one, just to give us that extra body in the park. And there it is, it's Carapi. Carapi's done it, it's 1 0. It's 1 0. Come on, Parma. I like that, I like that. I'm just going to change it a little bit. Just going to change it a little bit. Try and keep possession now. Uh, There we go. I've just changed it slightly to retain possession a bit more and be a bit more disciplined on the ball now. We can hopefully, hopefully we can keep this lead. Could it be good to be good to go on a little cup run to start things off. Uh, maybe I'd like to make a couple of changes at the 60 or 65 minute mark because it's still technically kind of still pre-season. Uh, players aren't up to their full fitness yet, so don't want to be wearing players out and kind of wearing them thin for the start of the season because really this is only this NEC Cup. Um, whereas the league's the most important thing. I mean, it's good to get a wee trophy in the bag, but really, really, we want to kind of keep our key players fit. So. Giacomo Ricci of Cosimo Ciriccio we'll go with Ciriccio I know it's not his sort of main position but I mean he can play there I'm sure he can play there he's got the attributes for it so it's not as if he's not good enough Uh We'll get um, Roberto Insigne hasn't been playing the best. He hasn't been playing the best. That's disappointing because he's kind of the marquee sign, and I really want him to be playing, you know, really well. Uh, we'll get Nicolo. 
Mullen Arrow on. Hopefully he can do a bit of a job. Play him as a second striker just because it's his most suitable role. I just want to see how that works out. But, uh, but we'll kind of... I'm going to use Paponi as a supporting target man then. And hopefully that can work. They, they two can work together. Just tell the guys I've got a wee bit of faith in them. <coughs> I'll just go to, go to control, change it, change it to control, try and take control, keep control of the match rather. And uh, Saparetti isn't having the best of games. Maybe look at the, maybe look at taking him off. But then tired legs could cost us. So I mean Karapi. Kalkanya. I'm not too worried about that pony, you know. Um we'll take Karapi because I don't want to risk injuring him. He's quite an important player as well. Happy to make that change, keep it that way. I like to just I like to always tell my players that I've got faith in them before they go in the park uh, in the beginning. Because you're the new manager, so you want to show the guys that you're what you've seen of them, that you have confidence in their ability. Hopefully we can get another E. Oh come on. Don't concede now. Don't concede now. Punch it. Oh well done. Keep it in separate play it along. Molinaro picks up inside the other team's half. Look as he's half. Plays it wide to Maranjo. Maranjo plays it down the line for Molinaro. Can he get a ball into Paponi? He can, he can. Yes, he can. His 2 0. It's Daniel Paponi. And that must wrap up. That must wrap up. It's 2 0. Parma 2. Look as you know. Delighted with that. Delighted with that. Substitutes made the difference there. Nicolo Molinaro given the marquee signing. Roberto Insigne. I run for his money here. So. Now it's giving me something to think about for the second game against the uh, Pass Vitra or something. <laughs> I can't remember their name. Uh, against the other side <laughs> in the in the in the group, he's giving me something to think about there. So that's good. It's a good problem to have though. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of we'll get this. We'll skip by this. These bits and we'll just bring you the second game. So we're going with this team just now. Roberto and Senior still in the squad. I just believe he's got too much quality, really. Um, I think he's probably just doing a bad game. Paponi stays in as he scored the last game. Uh, so we've got Nicole Molinaro on the bench, so should we need them, hopefully they can pop up. Yeah. So, so we'll go with that team. Hopefully they can get into the knockout stages in a Serie C Cup. We're good to get a wee cup run going. And We really should be going out to dominate the match. Sometimes I don't like saying that to them because it can put a wee bit too much pressure on players. But I think in this kind of match we should be able to dominate. So I'm quite happy with quite happy with saying that to them. So we'll get the match underway. And as usual, nothing never never ever comes nothing ever comes to anything at the start of the game, does it? The kick off never comes to anything. The kick off highlight. Uh, so I 
And again, 10 minutes, nearly, nearly 10 minutes in and nothing's happened. Oh, there we go. I'll get a wee highlight reel here. Paponi doesn't win the header, but Insignia wins all his ball. Chiricho takes his man on, he beats him down the line. Is he going to take another one on? Oh, Stefano Rossoni is filled. Is he off? Is that a booking? It's just a talent. Eh? Something must be going to happen here then, because they wouldn't have showed you that. Oh, Borno. Melieta plays wide to Chiricho. Paponi. Kilkanyi opens up to Corapi. Corapi plays it then. Oh, I should have played it in the line for Bandini. But Paponi's there on the end of the on the end of the cross, it's 1-0, it is 1-0, and Paponi is there again. I'm not, I'm not a big fan, I'm not a big fan of kind of a target man or whatever, but he is a target man, although I'm not playing with a target man, I'm playing with a poacher, but I'm not a massive fan of kind of big bulky strikers playing up on their own, but I mean, if you can get a lot of crosses into them, it'll be... But it doesn't, it's not necessarily to do with their, their height and their power or whatever either. A lot of it's to do with their movement off the ball, being in space, positioning themselves well. Oh, the crosses, the crosses are good today. The crosses are good. Vice Pissarro can't deal with the deliveries here. The wide deliveries, it's 2-0. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's try and get that third goal and kind of put them, put them to the sword. Because uh, we don't want to, we don't want to end up. They get another goal. Uh, they get a goal and they're right back in it. Two and is a, a weird score line. It's a weird score line because it looks like you're running away with it, but all it takes is a goal to get to to get your opponent's tails up. Um, in fact, if not, if this doesn't come to anything, I'm going to kind of change it. Oh, what is the goalie doing? What is he doing? He was miles off his line, and it was not. It was in no man's land. There. What is what's his position and attribute? It's thirteen. You know, it's all right. Yeah, uh, wanna change that here and try and we all we're already trying to retain possession, we'll set a bit set a bit deeper the way. Just to kinda maybe we'll slow it down a bit. Try and take control of the match we'll go to control as well. Uh, I'm enjoying this so far, I'm enjoying it, it's good. Uh, I know I'm not playing against the best of opposition, but, I mean, Parma. <laughs> Get a second half started then. Uh, we'll look to sustain the lead and, like, sort of, they maybe come out attacking because they can still go through if they win. If they beat us, but we need to take this thing around our tails a wee bit. Try and uh, try and deflate them completely because, and that's exactly how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. Roberto Insigne, he says something my body. My body's on a roll here. I'll keep him on because I want him to get his hat trick. That'll be he'll do wonders for his confidence. I'm glad that it's working with that formation as well, because I like that formation. The four two, three one, wide. Uh gives you a lot of flexibility. For a change, you know. Gandini as well. Another new signing, it's proved a bit here. Proved important in this game and Del Borno. And Senior. The only one wasn't my signing with Paponi. Uh, 
So I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Uh, Oh, me. Oh. There we go. It's got to be. Surely they can't, they can't bring this back. It's got to be finished. So, well, uh, after the game, we'll, we'll end the recording. We'll end the, we'll end the episode when the final whistle goes. Uh, we'll be back for the second, sorry, the third episode where we'll play the I think we'll play the first two games of the league season. I think it'll be unless there's any, unless there's more Series C Cup games in between. Oh, <laughs> I looked as if they tried to clear it and hit, hit their own crossbar there. Uh, that's kind of just dragging on there, isn't it? We just wish you'd blow the whistle. Or oh, Masato shows a little bit of magic, son. <laughs> uh, he knows how to play keep ball anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a good result, I'm happy with that. Top to group, maximum points. I only conceded one, I think one goal, so I'm happy with that, very happy with that. Well done, lads. All right, well, we're going to wrap the episode up there. So, we'll come back for the, the first two games of the Serie C season. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, comment if you want to see anything or if you get any questions. Uh, and if you want to, you want to get updates on when the third episode or the next episodes are going to be out, subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks for watching.